Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh My name is Ali Imran Welcome back to my mini project This time we are going to conduct a permeability of soil test The durian season has come in Malaysia As a gardener, I noticed that a few of my durian tree produce low quality of fruit Which less soft and creamy compared to the other tree this situation shows that the root of the tree do not receive enough water from the soil. Regarding to this scenario, I was called to conduct permeability tests of soil at this farm for my second mini project in which to determine the permeability of soil at this area. So let's get an overview of physical observation of this soil. I took this sample from the top layer of the soil. The soil is sandy. It may easily move from one place to another place. Like in color, the structure of soil mass is loose. It must be high in porosity. The soil is dry and low in viscosity. This test is conducted by referring to the constant head test setup. So here is the list of apparatus. Start from water, soil sample, trowel, constant head tank, container, syringe, and sponge. This is the setup of the apparatus. So let's begin the test. Firstly, pour the soil sample into constant head tank. Next, level the soil in the tank. Then, place the sponge on the soil sample. Next, measure the surface area, thickness of the soil sample, and different height between two manometer tube. After that, pour the water into tank because we want to saturate the water. When the water flow out constantly, then the soil is saturated. Once the soil is saturated, we measure the different height of the water in two manometer tube. Then, we can start the stopwatch. After 30 seconds, take the reading of volume water collected. Repeat step 4 until 7 twice and record all the data. This is the result obtained from the test. The data is analyzed using Darcy law to determine the coefficient of permeability of soil for those three readings. From the calculation, the average of coefficient permeability of this soil is 0 0.0109 cm per second. First of all, the soil sample can be classified as a very sandy soil. Based on the observation, we can see the water flow out quickly from the constant head tank. In average, approximately about 24.33 ml of water flow out in 60 seconds. And the coefficient of permeability for this soil is 0 0.0109. According to the table permeability and drainage characteristic of soil by Casagrade and Fedem, the coefficient of permeability for this soil match the coefficient for the sandy soil. But what the reason affecting the result of this test? 
in this test factor that affecting the permeability of the soil are grain size wet ratio degree of saturation and soil structure the grain size of the soil sample is coarse grain thus the water can easily flow through the soil since the soil is not compacted the soil structure is loose and the void ratio is high so the permeability of the soil will be higher the water can easily flow in the soil as a conclusion i could determine the permeability of the soil sample from this activity the result of this experiment show that the drainage of the soil is good regarding to the permeability level so the water can easily permeate into soil luckily i can apply this test to determine the condition of soil at my drain farm lastly i can enhance my knowledge and experience by implementing knowledge that i gained from miss rose through lecture video that's all from me thank you